okay i'm moving on to the next slide which is more of the financial markets so market is a bigger umbrella like uh, a market could, could be anything but when we are talking specifically about the financial market uh, so financial market is something which is related to the financial products or the services the financial market is a broad term describing any marketplace where trading of the financial products including loans deposits equities bonds currency and derivatives occur okay before i like uh, i move uh, i had a, like you know describe this slide more just want to check on the background how many of you are from the banking backgrounds so do you have some banking background or banking knowledge you understand these banking terms loans deposit equities what are bonds no i'm sorry was it no or yes uh, no. partially we understand okay <laughs> okay fair answer okay so again when uh, you're talking uh, about... i uh, i mean i don't have any experience in this domain but i was just curious about this that i thought loan deposits and equities uh, and bonds these kind of stuff are from the uh, investment banking domain and that is different to banking domain i didn't know that these things like are similar and common in both the domains uh so deposits is deposits comes under banking domain so again it's same thing banking is a bigger umbrella and under that it comes like commercial banking investment banking you are right equities and bonds and currencies so these are kind of a little uh, these are kind of common things which comes under commercial banking as well as well as investment banking so these are some of some of the common topics but okay, yep. so can we say if that it, uh, investment banking comes under a domain of uh, banking itself? Yep. So again, so banking is a big umbrella under under which it's it comes personal banking or individual banking, then come or we we also say it commercial banking, and then another one is the investment banking, which is more of a kind of investment of the money. Okay. And when we talk about the commercial banking, it's it's majorly like related to. Uh, individual or uh, corporate banking functions okay all right okay again when we are talking about these financial products loans deposit equities bonds these the, these products are like uh, com again common for individual customer for corporate customers and for banks as well so even if we if we are talking about loans at deposits is the same thing loans when when some when there is a borrower and want to you know uh, get some money so they reach out to a bank or any bank, any other financial institution request for a uh, loan based on their loan type uh, and then, then they get the money uh, uh, based on the terms and condition of the banks or the financial institutions same is with the depository so in case as an individual or as an institution if i do have a surplus of the money i want to get a deposit or get it invested somewhere so that i can earn interest or more money on this one so that that's something which is deposits but no worries like we will be covering all these uh, products in more details in our future slides and future sessions i'm moving on to the next slide so the basic definitions of the financial market so again there are two forms of exchange in the financial market one is the direct finance and indirect finance so as the names suggest uh, the direct finance is something uh, or like happens between two parties directly in the in direct finance there is a borrower and there is a lender the lender have the surplus of the money or surplus of the goods and borrower is borrower is running short on the money and want to borrow that cash so for example now me and there is yogesh so yogesh already have surplus of the money he want to get it invested or he want to get it bo uh, lent lent it out and i'm got i'm running short on the money i want to have some money uh, for a short or long term period so i'll take the money from the yogesh on on that money for that period i may pay him some fixed interest or some you know uh, means whatever are the terms and conditions 
and th in this way in, in this, this this is something which we are calling up direct finance so there is a borrower there is a lender and they are directly exchanging the security or the product or the goods that is the concept of direct finance and th this is the same which the definition applies direct finance in which lender and borrowers meet directly to exchange the securities whereas if we talk about the concept of indirect finance so indirect finance is now it's the same case there is a borrower there is a lender okay but yogesh don't trust me because yogesh don't know who is the guru i don't want to share the money my money to guru or in case if i'm lending the money to guru what is the security or what is the guarantee that i'll get my money back okay but i feel safer in case if there is some financial institution say bank okay okay i'm fine like if even if i'm getting the less interest on my money but it's secure so i'm depositing my money to a financial institution and let's say the financial institution is bank here and when i'm depositing my money i'm getting an x percent of the rate of interest on my deposit i'm gaurav i'm borrower okay i don't know who is yukesh i'm not sure to whom i can reach out or who have the surplus of the money and to whom i can like you know borrow that money for my time period or my required time period so again i'm going to a financial institution requesting for a temporary money or loan i'm agreed to pay them a certain per uh, percentage of rate of interest on that money for the particular time period and i'm also fulfilling my need so this is the concept of indirect finance and the same is the definition implies the second type of finance trade occurs with the help of financial intermediaries and is known as indirect finance in this scenario borrower and lender never meets directly but lender provides the funds to financial intermediaries such as bank and those intermediaries independently pass these funds onto the borrower am i clear here till here any questions any queries so far